Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children uh, listening and who believe in this word being taught unto them, man. Now I'm back at you with another lesson entitled These Edomites are through, too through, man. Alright, and you know, these days I don't really, you know, I don't really be in public spaces and that, man. I don't really, you know, truth be told, I don't, I don't really like people, man. I don't really like a lot of people. You know, if ain't the brothers, or, you know, anyone that I need any dealings with, I ain't really trying to be around you, man, because, you know, in time you just come to realise that everyone's just full of shit. Everyone's, you know, all for themselves and, you know, there ain't no real, there ain't no real love out here, man. So anyways, you know, I was out last week and, um, you know, I found myself in a, in a, in a big shopping set, um, centre that I don't usually go to. It, it was huge, man. And, um, you know, it was in a, you know, what you can consider more so of, a, of an Edomite area. All right. And uh, so obviously, going out, about, out and about shopping, there was a lot of Edomites about, man. And what I noticed, well, actually, even before we, um, we did the, the, you know, went to that shopping centre, we actually went to, to, to view a property, man. You know, I was with my, with my woman. And um, we went to view a, um, a house in the area. And um, first of all, you know, the people that we was with, you know, the, the people that were, the, that were hosting the viewing, there were some Edomites, man. And they all looked like some degenerates. You know, like they ain't showered in days. You know, just looking all crazy, looking all bugged out. I'm thinking like raw, like you know. To be honest with you, it was almost it was almost comical, man. You know, when I come to think about it, it was it was it was, it was pretty much comical. It's like like damn, boy, you you just look through, like you know, you don't you, you don't even look like a person, man. That you know what, and it was more than one of them actually. You know, you guys look like like like, like cartoon characters, man. You know, just just looking through out here. All right. So, um, yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. And then when we went out later to that, you know, the shopping center, you know, again, being in, in a predominantly Edomite area, we're seeing a lot of Edomites. And a lot of these Edomites, you know, had all kind of ailments. They were through, man. Can't walk properly. Uh, uh, disabled, you know. And it was Edomites I was seeing. I was like, I was thinking, rah, man, like, shit. These people are through, man. All right? These people are through. Okay? And we need to understand that, man. You know, these Edomites, their time is... <gasps> Excuse me. These Edomites' time of rulership is coming to an end, man. The Most High is closing the curtains on these devils. All right? Even, you know, let's let's consider another aspect. you got, you got the... you got the... Um, you know, you got the royal family royal family the the wicked elite of Esau Edom man you know the, your, your Jacob Rothschilds and who, who's the other one that passed uh, uh, Evelyn is it Evelyn Rothschild all right um you know the queen passed you know you got all these um these devils man who are dying okay but guess what they ain't the only th they ain't the only things dying man because their kingdom is going right down with them all right, you know now now is a is a high time to awake out of sleep, man. The heavenly Father, he's about to make his move through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, they they're really about to close the curtains on this place. You know, so it, it wouldn't make no sense if we you know we pretty much put um you know we invested our mind, our, our heart and soul into into this 
dwindling kingdom, man. Because, you know, with all that's happening around the world, you still got Jake out here trying to make it. You know, and I'm talking about really trying to make it, man. Trying to make it big. You know? Point to prove ass niggas, man. Okay? But this place is, is, is through, man. All right? These devils ain't got too much longer. All right? And, and, you know, we're seeing the way events are taking place around the world. The least of the flock, he's drawing them out, man. Them, them Amalekites, okay? You know, them little hat people over there in, in Israel. You know, they ain't the true is Israelites. That's why they, they, they describe themselves as Israeli. They don't call themselves Israelites. They call themselves Israeli. Because they ain't the people, man. All right? That's, what, that's, that's, a, that's a, you know, that's some BS right there. Okay? And just like, you know, the Edomite structure, the Edomite power... It's not respected like that anymore, man. When you look at the police officers here in the UK, man, they, they make mockery out of these police officers, man. You know, how, how is it you've got a police force that can't even police the, uh, uh, um, the people, man? You know, you've got people just running all kind of jokes on them, making them the butt of their jokes, all right? You know, uh, assault, you know, police officers are getting assaulted. Some instances even being killed, man, over there in America, you know, so I mean, man, this place is through, you know, if, if you can't even, I remember there was one time, this is about a year ago, my old job, right, you had this, uh, you had this mental guy, he was, uh, he was running around the place with a knife, when I say the place, he was running around outside, man, chasing people with a knife. You know, and then here it is, you got someone calling the police, right? And 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 here it is, you're calling 999 emergency. Emergency, and emergency is telling you that you're in a queue, man. Imagine that. Emergency is talking about oh you're you're, you're you're fourth in the queue. You know, whilst you got a man out here chasing people with knives, man. Oh but you're fourth in the queue. Man, this look, this this kingdom is through, man. Alright? So really we need to um uh, set our affection on the things that are above and you know what let's start there you know, i did have sirach 14 on deck but let's start on um, colossians 3. let's start at the top man colossians 3 and 1 if ye then be risen with hamashiach seek those things which are above where hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the most high so really and truly we're not meant to have our mind all up in this place man you know, here it is, we're, we're, we're trying to make it in Esau Edom's world, man. Look, as the saying goes, man, the game's rigged, okay? The game is rigged and it's rigged for you, Jakes, to never, you know, get past Esau to a certain extent, man. You know, there's only, there's, there's only so far you can make it in your enemy's kingdom, man. And it's as far as they allow you to make it. Even when you see, you know, you got them Jakes that are up there. You know, your Jay-Zs. All right? That, but, you know, first of all, they had to do a lot of wickedness to be in that position. And secondly, they can only go as far, as high up as Esau Edom wants them to. And Esau Edom wants to make Jake a perpetual slave, man. When we was on them slave ships, they was talking about, oh, sing us one of them songs of Zion. How, how, how are you demanding us to sing you one of them songs from Zion when you've literally abducted us, bro? You, you, you've taken us from the, you know, the coast of West Africa predominantly against our will. You know, we're, be, we're, uh, uh, we're in the boat on the ship. You know, pissing and shitting on each other, catching all kind of diseases, cause you know we, you've packed us together like sardines. All right, you got you got you got some Jake, uh, 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 you know, hopping overboard, saying fuck it, man, I'd rather drown or get eaten by a shark than serve this devil. But of course, reincarnation, third or fourth generation, that nigga soul was back. You know, right in that right in that cotton field, man. You know, the most, the most high looking at you niggas jumping out the, the, the ship, like, ah, you thought you were smart, huh? You know? 
three, four generations later, man, you back there in the cockfield, man. You know, but the point is, you, you got Jake, man, that they, they, they said, nah, man, to hell with Esau. You know, you rather go overboard. And you know what? To be honest, Jake still got that mentality now. That's why a lot of these Jakes, you know, a lot, a lot you know, there's a lot more now. But, you know, predominantly, Jake don't want to go to, to, to work. Work on nine to five. You know, Jake, Jake be the, the you know, the, the class clown, you know, in, 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 in school. Jake, Jake be up in detention. You know, we might not even attend school. We might even get kicked out, you know. Grows up, you don't want to work either. So he, he, he be out there on the pavement, man, you know, selling drugs. All right, just being a nigger. But ultimately, because he don't want to bow down to your devils, man. The same way them jakes would rather, you know, be hop overboard than to serve um, um, Esau Edom, man. You know? And, you know, it's like our people, they forget that Esau Edom, he, he's still that same devil that he was when he got your ass in them slave ships. All right? Around, a fi around what, 500 years ago or so. He's still that same devil now, man. But here it is, you're trying to, you know, you're, you're, trying, to, you're trying to make it out here, man. In Esau Edom's uh, um, kingdom. You know? You're trying to make it in his world, man. And you see, I'm just driving by, I'm in the hood, and I just see these free gremlins, man. You know? And, and, and it's sad because, and Salaki, I'm talking a bit in this one, you know, I just finished work and... I just kind of wanted to, to do another video, man. You know? And you know, it's sad because Jake, they they really, um, you know, Jake will get pulled over talking about, oh yeah, you pulled me because I'm black. But it's like, you know, when you look at most of these Jake out here, man, it's like, you really give Esau, you know, a reason to, man. You know, you be fitting the stereotype and shit. Like I'm looking at these three Jakes, man, all ballied up, hoods up, wearing all black. You know, just rolling around like boys in the hood and, and you just, you know You just get that, that, that perception, man You know, they do it to themselves, man You're wearing a black COVID mask COVID, oh man, I said the word You know, the Crown Vic But what, that was all the, that was, that's four years ago now, man So we, we need to cover your face for now You know, but the point is, man That we just need to get our minds out of this this, this world, man you know, love not the world, nor the things that are in it. You know, Lord willing, I get that after. But let's read on. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. You know, these cars, clothes, money and holes, man. Forget about it. All right? Wherever we lost out in, on this side, we're going to get in the kingdom a hundredfold. In righteousness. You know, we ain't going to have to do wickedness to obtain... Uh, uh, um, the things that you want man Like how uh, On this side You have to do so That's why you got a lot of Jake Selling out man You got a lot of Jake You know Selling their souls Engaging in all kind of um, Wicked rituals all, all for the love of that money You know First Timothy Chapter 6 man For the love of money Is the root of all evil Alright You know what? You can even bring out what's that? Ecclesiastes seven, man. What's that? Ecclesiastes seven and eleven, and it reads: Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. Right, so so you see this wisdom is gonna profit us in the end. You know, Lord willing we be of the elect and we're gonna be able to partake in you know that magnificent salvation of of, of, of you know the elect of the nation of Israel man and that's only through obtaining this wisdom Isaiah 33 and 6 for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times man Alright whilst you know the world is continue to, to you know wickedness is continue is gonna continue to grow. Okay. We ain't gonna be stressing that here, man. 
we're gonna be okay because we understand you know we have heard that speech and was afraid he who um, abideth in the shadow of the almighty um, he who um, he who dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide in the shadow of his almighty man you know what's that Psalms 91 what's that secret place you know the, these scriptures man having a true wisdom knowledge and understanding of, of these scriptures Okay, which is gonna to lead to what? Our salvation. And our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. And, and this is the thing, Esau Edom, he wants you to get lost in the source. You know, he, he don't want you to be thinking about the scriptures, man. He don't want you uh, um, rehearsing the righteous acts. He don't want you calling on the true names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Okay? Because this devil's going down and he wants you to go right down with him, man. And that's exactly what's happening. Esau, Edom, he sees he's going down. Now his aim is to drag as many people uh, as he can down with him, man. You know, that's why you got to enter in at the straight gate. You know, for, for, for broad is the gate that leadeth to destruction, man. Uh, you don't, you don't want to be, uh, you know, the scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. You know, just, just, just because everyone else is doing it doesn't make it right. Oh, but he's doing it. Oh, but she's doing it. Oh, but they're doing it. Hey, that, that herd mentality is going to get you, you know, what happens to sheep, man? They, they get herded, you know, and, and then slaughtered, man. That herd mentality will get you slaughtered. You're just, just following the crowd, man. All, all that fitting in bullshit. You know, oh, yeah, you're just trying to fit in. Now, now, now your ass is eating a nuclear missile. Well, you're in Jacob's trouble just through because your ass wanted to fit in, man. Come on, man. The elect are not of this world. All right, let's read on. Verse 12. For wisdom is a defense and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that it giveth life to them that have it. Life, money don't give you life, man. Read Proverbs 11, 4 and 5. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You know? So so when that time of trouble comes, the most I ain't gonna care how much you got in the bank. Ain't, ain't gonna care how much you got in the shoebox, man. You know, what, what did you do for me? You know? And that's why we have to be on fire in this truth, man. For thou art lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai said. And man, that's that's a that's a nightmare, you know, to to, to even you know, to have your how I fixate those words to you, man. That's that's you know I couldn't think of anything worse, man. You know, what did I want? First John. First John chapter two. And verse 15 and it reads Love not the world Neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the father is not in him Okay so you, you got to take your mind out of this world man Can't have your mind All up in this world oh yeah You know you're just worried about the next motive The next drink up You know the latest drip and whatever man You know You need, you need to remember that We was hey that same devil who took us on them slave ships is the same devil today, man. You need to remember, we was brought here as punishment. Remember remember how we got here, Jake? Okay? Remember how we got here. Alright? And this uh, position-wise as well, because we're at the bottom, man. Let's be honest, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. You know? Compared to all these other nations, we are at the bottom, man. How did we get here? Esau, Eden brought us here, man. But of course, you know, we have to bear the indignation of the Lord because we sinned against him. We always got to remember that. All right? But let's, let's not forget how we got here, man. You know, and here it is. You're, you're just trying to have a party out here, just living your best life. You know, and, you, and you're forgetting that you're in captivity. Hey, Baruch 3 and 8, we are yet this day in our captivity, man. That hasn't changed Just because you ain't got physical shackles on your feet 
yokes of iron upon your neck. You, you niggas think you free. You ain't free, man. If my ass decides not to wake up tomorrow and go to the job, you know, but let's see, let's see how much of a free man I am. If I just decide, yeah, I ain't gonna work no more, all right, let, let's see how I'm gonna make it, man. I miss that rent, whatever the case may be, you know. You drive that car, no license, get pulled over. Let's see how much of a free man you are. Alright? Because we ain't free, man. But we're being, we're pretty much being sold this delusion that we're free, man. Somehow, we ain't in captivity no more. Baruch 3 and 8, man. We are yet this day in our captivity. Okay? That's why, you know, we're not meant to love the world, man. You know, we, uh, uh, we need to get our heads out of the sand. Get our heads out of the sand. You know? Walking around just being deceived. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And and, and remember, who, who is this world given into the hands of, man? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, Esau Edom is ruling this earth right now in wickedness, man. All right, that's that's what's up. So, so you, if you, if you're in love with this world, you're just loving it, yeah, just living your best. Now, that means really you, you, you love wickedness, man, and you support what this devil's all about. Okay, but you see, the elect are not of this world. You know, this whole, uh, go to the book of John. Let me read this real quick. Verse 17. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Okay. Let's go to the book of John. Uh, is it 15 or is it 17? It might be 17. Let's have a look. Fifteen, yeah, John 15 and 18 If the world hate you You know that it hated me Before it hated you Alright The world didn't like Yahweh Shai They ain't gonna like those coming in the stead Of Yahweh Shai Okay If ye were of the world The world would love his own But because ye are not of the world But I have chosen you out of the world Therefore the world hateth you And the world hates us man It is what it is We hate them too We don't support what they do They don't support what we do You know That's that's just what it is man Okay Verse 20 Remember the word that I said unto you The servant is not greater than his lord If they have persecuted me They will also persecute you treat you wrongly man okay if they kept if they have kept my saying they will keep yours also all right that's the elect the one third the great multitude those who you know follow after yahweh shai man follow the lamb whether he whether uh whether so he goeth okay now that's how that's how it should be man we ain't meant to you know um Follow after Esau man Because that's That's going to lead us To the grave You know Esau don't even Look after himself But you want him To look after you man And this is why You see you got Jake out here They'll dance with the devil Make deals with the devil Alright And um You know the, 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 the end is always miserable You know Every single time the end is miserable for that Jake, man. But Esau, Edom, he ain't going to look after you, man. He What he does is he, he just uses, abuses you, makes his money off you, and then that's it, man. You know, it's just like, you know, you smoke a cigarette or a, a, a spliff, whatever the case may be, you know, you, you, you smoke that cigarette, whatever it is, and, you know, you smoke it, and then what do you do when it's done, man? You just, you just fling it away, you just dash it. 
you know, especially if you smoke weed, like, you know, you spend the time rolling it up and this, that, and what the third, and then you smoke it, enjoy it, and then, and then you just dash it away, man. Well, that's, the, that's what this devil does with, with, with you Jakes, man. You know, you give you that record deal, give you that, that healthy advance, you get that million pound advance, you know, and, and you see, and, and then from there, you're asked a slave, man. You know, because now you've got a slave in the studio and you got to make sure that the tracks you drop, they do numbers and, you know, because, hey, remember, it's an advance, you know. you got to, you know, it's like basically you get a credit card and you have a certain credit limit. Well, that's, 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 there's the same thing with the advance, man. Because, yeah, you, they give you that like a million, but you got, you got to pay them back, you know. You got to pay them back, man. So your ass better be making money for them, you know, and then you want to climb up the ladder, you got to engage in certain wicked activities, you know, and then that boosts you, that boosts your rank, boosts your riches, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sick game, man, you know, but because Jake, you know, Jake don't see anything beyond this kingdom, man. You know, Jake has been a slave for so long. You know, you, you actually got Jakes out there that ask you, you know, or well, how am I going to uh, work in the kingdom? How am I going to pay rent in the kingdom? Bro, you're in the kingdom, man. And you're talking about how you're going to pay bills, you see? That's that slave mentality, man. What's that, Jeremiah 2 and 21? Um, how has that become a, a, a degenerate? Roughly paraphrasing, you know? Just degenerate, man. Okay. Anyway, Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. And that's why, you see, even when it comes to you Israelites, man, the, the, this devil took the most high's goods, the apple of his eye, his children, his people, all right, the nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, all right. And look how he treats us. This is the devil, man. He got the most highest jewels. All right? And look at how he treats us, man. He shall not take pleasure in his goods. He don't take no pleasure in us. Use and abuse you. When he's done, that's it. Just throw you away. Here it is, you know. He, he brought your... Look, that... America, we built that place, man. All right? We built up that land. Made it... As successful as, as it has been Even though we see it's falling now And um, where, where, Where's Jake living? Section 8 housing You know Up up in the in, in the ghetto man Up in the hood Alright Ops on the next road You know No trees Alright You know You go to the hood There ain't trees there man And trees have a very positive Calming effect on you Alright Clears the air as well Okay And these are the people That built up your land And look how you treat them Verse 6 There's none worse than he That envieth himself And this is a recompense of his wickedness Right, hey man This devil don't even like how he looks That's another thing man You know I got this one guy at the job you know, I've been there like a month now. I promise you, that whole month I've been there, I ain't never seen that bitch without a fake tan. And you know, when I started, it, it weren't, it weren't all, uh, what you call it? It weren't like it was all sunny and shit. You know, I started, it was cold outside. You know, it was still winter. You know, it's a bit warmer now, but you know, it was all winter season and whatnot. She still had her fake tan. You know, and today and counting, I still ain't never seen that bitch without a fake tan. And all the time, man, you know, these Edomites, they get comfortable enough around you. They'll tell you how they really feel, man. Start saying things like, ah, oh, you know, um, oh, I'm just so pale. Oh, yeah, I just need a tan. Oh, yeah, whatever. Oh. Even when these Edomites describe, you know, men that they fancy, tall, dark and handsome is what they say. You know? And these Edomite women, they don't desire Edomite men. You know, and, that, and that's that's the truth, man. 
These Edomite women do not desire Edomite men. You know, uh, the elders have been bringing it out recently. How does it go, man? Oh, about how, what was it, like 97 or 90, 99 or something percent of Edomite women, if not deal with Jake, fantasize about dealing with Jake, man. You know, because, hey, he, hey Esau, he ain't, he ain't laying it down right, man. Esau, he, he, ain't, he ain't slanging that dang, you know. The way Jake get down, and just like, as a look, man, the scriptures say we're the salt of the earth, man. You know, you look at these Edomites around, and they're just real, like, weird, man. You know, they ain't, they ain't got that, 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 that flavor that Jake does, man. But you see, the problem is these Edomite women, they're taught in the house to, to hate niggas, man. You know? They, they, they're taught that, you know, we're three-fifths of a man. They, they're beneath us. You know, they're, they're this, that, and the third. You know? That, that's, that's what these Jakes uh, uh, um, are, um, you know, Salakia. That's what these Edomite women are taught, man. Not even the Edomites All the Edomites Because even the, the Edomite men You know They they Man They feel like they're above you But you see Then when they get around Jake And they You know And they, they, they see Jake man Jake in the You know And even Look Even in this lower state we're in, They still see Jake in their glory man That's why all these nations Want to follow after Jake Especially You know You know Beginning with the tribe of Judah on down man Judah want to wear his trousers below his ass Yeah you have Moabites doing it man you have Edomites doing it, man. Jake is influential, man. All, 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 all the best music you, you hear out there, artists are Jake. Why do you think they wanted us to sing them songs of Zion whilst they had us uh, uh, um, um, on them slave ships, man? You know, but that's the thing. It's still, you see, nothing has changed to this day. Same way they wanted to be entertained then is the same way they want to be entertained now, man. They see you niggas as nothing but entertainment. You see? But we're in a time where Israel is starting to be recognized for who they are, man. For who they really are. And that's uh, um, Yasha Allah. The princes of the power, man. The sons of God. Jake is being recognized now. And them curses are slowly lifting off Jake. And are coming on to you devils, man. You Edomites. And you're looking real through out here, man. And you eat them out, even you, you hate yourselves, man. The only thing is, you you just got a nice, uh, what you call it? You got a nice little house to hate yourself in, a nice little car to hate yourself in, a nice little position at the job to hate yourself in. But you still fucking hate yourself, even though you be a success. You still fucking hate yourselves, man. You look at these Jakes, and you and you you you, you envy, and you you want to be like Jake, and you just can't. Ultimately what it goes down to You want to get that birthright back And you just can't man You sold it for one morsel sort of meat man That's on you All you had to do was fast man But you sold your birthright For one morsel sort of meat And yes Your Iquab supplanted you That's his name man But it was The birthright Was never intended for you anyway That's just how the Heavenly Father Wanted it to play out man and you, you can't tell the Heavenly Father a damn thing, man. He's the most high. He does whatever the hell he wants to do. Whether you like it or not, man. We didn't get a say in us being in captivity under your ass for 500 fucking years, man. But we just dealt with it because we got to bear the indignation of the Lord because it's our fault anyway, man. Okay? So you ain't got no control over the most high, man. He going to do what he wants to do. He going to deal with you the way he wants to deal with you, man. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. All right. Anyways, man, let me just park this car. And then uh, let me bring out this. Finish this out, man. Bear with me a minute. These devils are through. Trust me, man. And the people are waking up, man. They know you small hats ain't the people. You know, the, the world is against what you what you guys are doing up over there in Israel, man. They ain't supporting it. 
You know, you try to play that victim role for so long. And now that, that's, that's no longer working, man. The people are starting to wake up and see you for the piece of shit that you are. And you know what? I got one more... Uh, I got one more priest that I want to bring out after this. You know, so let's read on. Verse 7. And he that and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last he will declare his wickedness, man. Oh yeah, he's a changed man. Oh, he's just so nice. Oh yeah. You know that 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 that, that you know that simple spirit, man. You know, the simple belief of every word. You you believe this devil was changed. You believe he turned over a new leaf. A leopard don't change their spots, man. It says if you do it good, he do it for unwillingly. He don't want to do it, but he'll do it, man. And then, you know, grit his teeth right after, man. These devils can't go sleep unless they've performed some form of wickedness, man. And that explains a lot, you know, that explains a lot in terms of the way they are. And you know, I was going to touch on something, but it's not really any relevant. Well, it's just a bit long winded, man. But it explains a lot, man. Okay. Let's close out here in Isaiah 14. This is Isaiah 14 and. Let's start at 12. Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did as weaken the nations? You know, because you see the way these devils are going to fall. It's going to be like, how the hell did you fall, man? You had all this power, all this glory. You had the fatness of the earth, the kingdom, the most highest children in captivity. How did you fall? It's how these, you know, the other nations are going to be looking at you, man. Uh, verse 13, for thou hast said in thine heart. And hold on, my, my throat dries home, man. Let me, let, me, let me drink a little something. Thirteen, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. This is talking about America. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And you see, these devils, they think they're the Most High, man. You know? That's why they want to control... Oh, what animals are, you know, uh, uh, you know, they'll have animals extinct. They'll do all kind of crossbreeding and shit. <gasps> all kind of wicked shit, man. You know, why do they want this uh, uh, MOTV to be established, man? For, for control. So that he can be like the most high. You know, you're in the Fed chase, electric car. In this new world and, you know, you're trying to drive... Man, you ain't... You, Fed chase where furthermore? You know, just go and shut, shut off your, you know, your car. Or you missed the payment on rent. You know, you're in the rears. You know, and now you're trying to, you're trying to enter the home. You swipe the hand. <clears throat> not working. You know, he, he wants to be like the most high. It's really, it's, uh, you know, it's Esau Edom just trying to get the birthright back, man. All right? But you see, what Esau Edom lacks is the spiritual aspect, man. Because we see, we can do this on the right-hand side without a grid, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. All right, but, but Esau lacks that spirituality. Okay. Reading on verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And this hell is talking about a living condition, man. You know, right now you're in heaven. You know, Jake's hell is Esau Edom's heaven. Esau Edom is in heaven right now, but his heaven, you know, you know, uh, you know, Esau skies are starting to have brass over it, man. 
You know, that's one of the curses written in Deuteronomy 28, meaning you, you ain't having a good time no more, bro. That time of enjoyment, all right, you just living your best life, getting away, being wicked, that time is coming to an end, okay? Um, verse 16, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms That made the world as a wilderness And destroyed the cities thereof That opened not The house of the prisoners And who are the prisoners man You Israelites man The same one of you the same, same one of you Jakes Talking about you're free You ain't free man You are a prisoner Okay You're a slave to this society man and what's one of the, the, the first evidence of you being a slave? Is um, the first thing that make it evident that you're a slave is the fact that you have, you know, what you have a, um, you know, your birth certificate, you've got your social security number, or your national insurance number, man. That's your, that's your slave number. Same way when you go to the job and you're getting paid, you have something called an assignment number, man. You are a slave. We are yet this day in our captivity. Alright. All the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as a raiment of those that are slain, thrust uh, through with a sword, that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under foot, under feet. All right, so you're getting ready to be brought down to the to the bottom of the bottom, man, where you belong. And Israel is getting ready to shoot right to the top, where they belong. Okay. Why do you think they call you the least of the flock, man? Which we know predominantly is talking about Amalek, but you Esau, you Edomites are still the least of the flock, man. Amongst all these, you know, amongst the eighteen nations. You're the least of the flock, man. You know? The undesirables. You know, you don't even have pigment. You know, you're half dead. Leprous. Okay? See? Like, Esau is through. And they know it. Trust me. They know it, man. They know it. Okay? Verse 20, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land thy land, and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers, of evildoers shall never be renowned. Like, renowned is like, you know, you're like a famous man. Like, you Edomites ain't going to be celebrated for anything, man. You're just going to be known as that example of why not to rule a planet in wickedness. All right. That's, that's all it is, man. That's all that's you you was you was just created to be an example of why we shouldn't be wicked. That's it. And after a thousand years of slavery, you're gonna be rounded up, gathered into a pit, all you eat a mats, and you're gonna be done away with, man, burnt. Never to be seen again. Twenty one. See you, you devils didn't consider your latter end, did you? But here we are. You didn't think this time was coming, huh? You, you like them, Jake? Oh, not in your lifetime, huh? Oh, here we are, eh? You know? Reincarnation, man. <laughs> oh, man. 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. And this is, you see, this is reincarnation right here. Furthermore. You know, the, the children is talking about you in your past lives. And then the fathers is talking about you in your, in your, in your, in your future life, man. Okay. Salakia. Um prepare slaughter for his children. That's talking about you in your future life, man. Okay? For the iniquity of their fathers. That's you in your past lives. Okay? That they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Okay? But your inward thought is that your houses shall continue forever, man. You think this kingdom's going to go on forever, man? Get out of here, man. You Edomites are through. Okay? 
And there's nothing you can do to stop this train of prophecy, man. All right, the word, the words of the Most High don't go out void. Okay. The scriptures say that 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 Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That followeth, man, and that's exactly how. You know, it's going to play out and there's nothing you can do about it, whether you like it or not, man. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to, you know, you know, I just go in the spirit, man, and just touch on that. You know, um, Sabbath is almost, you know, we've got about just under two hours and that's going to be the end of the Sabbath here in the UK. You know, but so still, man, Shabbat Shalom so to those of you out there, man. But anyways, man, Lord willing... This lesson is edifying, has been edifying, and until the next time, I say shalom.